guys, what's up? It's Matt with Operation Awesome Life, and I have been reading this book, Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. Okay, and I'm not even that far into this book. I am 26 pages into the book, and I can honestly tell you, after reading the first 26 pages, this book is already in the top three books I've read all time incredible information in the first 26 pages. And I just want to give you guys a little idea of what's inside of this book. Obviously, I haven't read the whole thing, so there's tons more to learn in it. And I wouldn't be surprised if I end up doing a few videos on this book because I have learned some truly incredible ideas from it. And like I said, like I said, psycho cybernetics is just absolutely incredible order this immediately and start reading it. I'm telling you, this book is life-changing. And one of the first concepts that I learned about in this book is the idea of a self-image and how important that is. And Maxwell Maltz was a, just to give you a little background of him, Maxwell Maltz was a uh, plastic surgeon. And one thing that he noticed was with patients, uh, some patients, after getting a new face, a, a more beautiful face, would automatically change their self-image and they would look at themselves as a much more attractive and, and worthy person. While other patients would get an equally beautiful transformation as far as physically, uh, the physical transformation goes, but they would not feel any difference whatsoever in their self-image or their value at all. And he thought this was really peculiar, and that's what started him to go down the process of uh, realizing that there's more to how we feel about our self-image than just what we see on the outside. In fact, a lot more of it has to do with what's going on on the inside of our brain instead of on the outside of our bodies. So he became obsessed with this idea, and he wrote this book, Psycho Cybernetics, and he talks about the ways that you can work on your self-image and you can transform uh, your, yourself through your limiting beliefs um, and just change around, give an emotional facelift, if you will, to how you, uh, how you would like to be uh, not only seen, but how you perceive yourself. And another great idea that I learned so far in Psycho-Cybernetics, like I said, only the first 26 pages, was this idea that failure is necessary on your way to success. There's a thing called a servo, a servo mechanism. And the servo mechanism is essentially, it's like a, a success mechanism. And what it is, is it's our built-in brain function that helps us to find the, the successful route to doing something by failing. He uses an example of a torpedo. If a torpedo is fired, what happens is the torpedo corrects itself by the failures. So if it goes too far this way, it will correct itself and then it'll go this way and correct itself and continue to correct itself all the way until it hits the target. And he explains our brain is very, very similar to that. And that was one of the most awesome concepts that honestly I've ever read about. I've heard about, yeah, you have to fail your way to success, and I believe that myself, but after reading this, it really, really makes sense to me that you truly do need to fail your way to success because our brain is wired in such a way that if we, if we, it would be impossible for us to hit success without failure. Our brain actually gropes its way to success by turning each way all the way to get to that actual target and in literally just groping its way to success. And that really is an incredible concept to have in your mind, not only to just understand the process of failing your way to success, but to have uh, the reassurance that failure is doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. In fact, failure means you're actually doing something right because you're actually going for what you want to accomplish and you're understanding that it's part of the process to fail. So many people get caught up in not wanting to fail and what happens is they eliminate 
any chance of success whatsoever. You have a 100% chance of failing if you don't try. But if you do try, you in fact have an amazing chance of succeeding because that's how our brains are wired. Our brains are wired to fail their way to success. So that concept, unbelievable. Um, I had to do a video even though I've only read 26 pages of this book because I gained so much value just from that torpedo story alone that I, I couldn't not tell you guys about it. So anyways, definitely go check out Psycho, uh, Psycho Cybernetics. Incredible book. Like I said, 26 pages in, tons of knowledge. Can't imagine how much more there is in this thing. Anyways, I hope you guys have just an awesome day and I wanted to share this with you. Uh, thank you so much and I'll talk to you again soon.